but I need some help, guys, like bad. Look at me. I need you to help me this time. You guys are pretty much all I got, you know what I mean? Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name is Thomas. In today's video, in today's video is pretty heartbreaking to me. As you can see here, someone did this. Couldn't have been me. Someone did this to my beautiful truck. Okay, so how did this happen? Well, I'm driving down the highway, about to get off on an exit to head home. There's seven, eight cars in front of me, and there's a semi on the far left lane. It's about to miss its exit, so it cuts all the way over, across all four lanes, into the exit. Well, it makes everybody else slam on their brakes. The guy in front of me veers off to the left. Doesn't even hit his brakes, just veers off to the left. So as soon as he moves, the next thing I see is a car sitting there, and I'm doing 60 miles an hour. I got on the brakes, hammered him. Got it down to about 40 miles an hour, and smashed this dude right in the rear end. The cops came out, didn't write nobody a ticket. They said because it was the fault of the semi-truck driver. But hell, I don't even know if he knew what he did. Because uh, he didn't stop. I don't even know if he's seen it, to be honest. So they didn't give anybody tickets. They said it wasn't our fault, you know, because actually four people wrecked because of this. So I was like, oh man, that's crazy. I was always taught if you hit somebody in ass end, guess what? It's your fault, no matter what. So I was really surprised. I was like, hell yeah. I call my insurance company. Next thing I know, I find out no matter what the cops say, the insurance companies have the last say. And they said, it's your fault. No matter what, if you hit somebody in the ass end, I don't care what happens, it's your fault. So I found out today that it is an accident at my fault. Only thing is I have a thousand dollar deductible, which is very high. Now some money shops will actually take your car and they'll pay for your deductible and take it off the bill at the end. But the body shop that I'm allowed to look at don't do that. So I have to come up with $1,000 just to get this vehicle fixed. And as you can see, we don't have $1,000 and it's still sitting here. So friends, this is where I'm going to ask for your help. I've asked for your help before and you guys have came through. It's different if I put a video out and I show you guys how to fix a vehicle. I say, hey, do you want to support the channel? Because I give you value. I might have helped you fix your car. I have given you something and you give me something in return. So it doesn't feel as bad. Right now, I'm not giving you anything. I have nothing to offer you, but I am asking you to help. If you can donate, I have my cash app, PayPal, Venmo, even my email. If you want to email me and figure out another way, I have everything in the video description. I'll even put it up here on the screen. What we need to do is come up with enough for the deductible to get my deductible paid. Then I can go ahead and pick up my rental truck. Once we get that truck, then we can still do a few jobs here and there. But I need some help, guys, like bad. Look at me. I need you to help me this time. Like I've asked for help before and you guys have came through. Anybody that knows me knows this just wasn't a truck, man. This meant a lot to me, a whole lot. You know what I mean? People know where I came from, what I've overcame, what I struggled with once I got out of the military, everything I've been through. So this truck meant a lot to me. All right, let's look at the damage here. Pray to God that this thing is not totaled out because if they total it out, all they're gonna do is pay off the loan. I'm not gonna get any money back. This truck's worth about, I don't know, 18 to 20. I owe about 25 on it pretty sure i do have gap i think so i'll be covered there i don't have another four thousand which is what i put down to get a new one so i pray to god they don't total it out but there is a lot of damage here now the thing that might save me is the airbags did not deploy nothing inside got busted they did not deploy it's gonna need both fenders on the side it's gonna need the hood obviously the grill all this the frame doesn't look too bad i mean i'm not a body shop guy but just from looking at it it's still a lot of money right there looking here this bent but this just bolts on and it stopped short of the engine and the vehicle still starts so hopefully they don't total it out i mean there's a lot of damage the radiator busted i'm thinking maybe like ten thousand dollars worth of damage but if it's worth eighteen thousand still it means a 2016 chevy colorado the loaded edition z71 only has ninety thousand miles you can't donate any of the links that's okay i know everybody's struggling we're all just trying to make it out here I still appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, all that stuff helps. This is only for the people that are in a position to help. Uh, and I know that's hard. Like if somebody asked me for help, I couldn't help them with very much. You know, if you ain't got enough for yourself, how are you gonna help somebody else? So I understand it's limited. We need to get like at least, a, I, don't, I don't know, whatever you guys can come up with. You guys are pretty much all I got, you know what I mean?